The Kingdom of Morocco has become one of the most revered renewable energy giant across the globe. With an impressive engagement with renewables, the North African nation has won the admiration of countries far and near, aiming to surpass the 50% mark in terms of energy supplied by renewables by the year 2030 and 100% by 2050. Morocco is currently incorporated with renewables accounting for about 35% of all energy requirements for the country, as per reports. This far exceeds patronage amongst other nations, yet the determined North African Kingdom appears resolute and inspired to achieve better. In the mid-2000s, Morocco endorsed actions to develop and complete mega-renewable projects as a gateway to achieving the honored status as a global force in clean energy. This decision as per reports from the Managing Director of Africa Climate Solutions, a consultancy firm based in Casablanca, Mohamed Alayoui, was inspired by the conviction that these projects could improve economic competitiveness, as well as secure and enhance energy supply meanwhile, gently weaning the nation off its dependence on fossil fuel imports. In 2009, a blueprint that entailed an ambitious energy plan with outlined principles to achieve a renewable energy supply of at least 42% of total power capacity by 2020 was announced. The plan fueled significant growth in both wind and solar, with solar photovoltaic capacity increasing 16-fold from a low base by 2020 and wind by 6-fold. By the end of 2019, the country had accrued a solar power production capacity of 736 megawatts, which was combined with other renewables to make up a total capacity of 3,264 megawatts. Solar energy has grown rapidly into a niche within the energy sector because of its affordability and availability, with wind following closely as the next major energy source. By June 2021, Morocco had updated its UN Climate Pledge, promising to alleviate greenhouse gas emissions by 17 to 18 percent by 2030 and an extended target of 42 to 46 percent with the provision of international assistance. The nation took advantage of the low prices in 2014 and 2015 to effectively push out petrol and fuel oil subsidies, which in turn has plummeted state reliance on fossil fuels. Loaded with a large bounty of natural resources, it is unsurprising to find renewables knocking out subsidies of fossil fuels and accounting for approximately two-fifths of total electricity production capacity. This places the North African nation in the ilk of the world's largest clean energy leaders, whilst meriting praise for its contribution to decarbonizing from global competitors. It hasn't been smooth sailing though, and by the end of the year 2020, Morocco had missed their targets amid the wealth of resources it possessed. Accounting for a total production of a little under 20% in 2019, it was apparent the generation of renewable energy had lagged significantly in contrast to the targeted 42% goal. The country has since made massive strides, pledging to augment its renewable energy blend consisting of 20% solar, 20% wind, and 12% hydro to 52% by the year 2030. Remarkably, the ardent country has already engaged feasibilities to determine ways to achieve a 100% renewable energy infiltration. These ambitions have led to the conception and delivery of mega-energy projects such as the grandiose North Solar Power Station, nestled on an area of 3,000 hectares in the arid, hot and stony desert, close to the southern Moroccan city of Ouazazay. The Nor Ouazazé complex is the world's largest concentrated solar power plant, with a capacity of 580 megawatts and a footprint of 3,500 football fields. A city the size of Prague, or twice the size of Marrakesh, could be powered by the massive complex. The first phase, with a capacity of 160 megawatts, has been operational since spring 2016 and generates approximately 400 gigawatt per hour of electricity per year enough to power approximately 400,000 Moroccan households. Unlike traditional solar panels that deliver energy directly to the grid, 
Over 500,000 curved mirrors concentrate radiation to heat tubes of fluid that are pumped to a power unit. These parabolic mirrors track the sun with constant angle adjustments to the sun as the Earth rotates with power units storing the energy for later use, particularly at night when demand is higher. German companies that excelled in international competition are assisting the country in achieving its goals to increase from 34% renewable energy-based electricity production capacity to 52% by 2030, an unprecedented feat, since there isn't a single emerging economy that has taken such a bold stance. On a global scale, Morocco is also a trailblazer. But it came with a sacrifice for at the time Morocco decided to pursue a green energy transition a few years ago. It had other options, such as continuing to rely on fossil fuels to meet the country's growing energy needs in the wake of a favorable drop in crude oil prices. Yet the nation opted to go for renewable integration, a plight that has ended up meriting plaudits and attracting international donors for the construction of highly promising projects such as the gigantic $2.5 billion Norwaz as a complex. Until recent times, Morocco had to acquire 90% of the fossil fuels it needed for its energy system, and this appeared to be a viable economic strategy as long as oil prices remain low. However, projections showed that if no switch to local green energy was made, inflation would be a possibility, especially given the erratic nature of fuel prices. Nonetheless, the country has been commended for allocating funds saved from fossil fuel subsidies to education and the establishment of a health insurance program, yet financial support for oil products is still around $3.4 billion, or roughly two-thirds of Morocco's annual budget deficit. Morocco's emissions are also small in comparison to many more developed countries, but burning fossil fuels for energy and cement production are still significant sources of pollution, whilst it still imports the majority of its energy to meet its rising energy demand, which grew at 6.5% annual rate between 2002 and 2015. Fossil fuels account for a large portion of the imported energy and the nation is still heavily reliant on coal power, which it is expanding alongside renewables and accounts for roughly 40% of the country's electricity. Along with about 20 other countries, however, the North African Kingdom pledged to seize the construction of new coal power plants at the 26th Conference of the Party's Climate Conference in Glasgow last October. There have been critics that believe that large clean energy projects in Morocco, such as the Nor Concentrated Solar Project, have primarily profited countries outside of Morocco, rather than Moroccans. They argue about megaprojects like the Nor plant requiring large amounts of water to be extracted in a water-scarce region. According to Mohamed Tazraudi, the Middle East and North Africa campaigner for Greenpeace, Greenpeace has also implored Morocco to restructure and improve its renewable energy law to allow ease and accessibility in owning and selling renewable energy, rather than difficult and bureaucratic for individuals. It further pushed for the passage of legislation, allowing small-scale renewable energy systems to be connected to the grid. Ultimately, Morocco is positioning itself as a clean energy hub with the potential to export renewable energy to Europe, with two electricity cables already connecting the country to Spain and plans for a subsea connection to the United Kingdom. As things currently stand, Morocco must meet its own demand for the time being, with the long-term goal of harnessing and supplying Europe with low-cost green electricity, generating export revenue from environmentally friendly power. Once executed accurately, other countries can emulate and benefit from a country's experience with solar thermal power plants and the transition to renewable energy in the future. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch also the next video on your screen, which looks into the future of electric cars in Africa. As always, make sure to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting trending and development topics in Africa.